Hey guys, welcome to our channel once again. Today, I want to talk about the International Recruitment Talent Pool that is currently ongoing at the Prince Edward Island in Canada. Yes, the province of Edward Island in Canada is currently recruiting international applicants to fill the labor shortage that is available in different sectors or that employers in different sectors in the Prince Edward Island are currently looking for international applicants to come into Prince Edward Island in Canada to work in each of these available open positions. Now, this open position, as I said earlier, cut across different sectors. So which means if you're skilled in construction jobs in different areas of construction jobs, manufacturing jobs, you have skills in healthcare related jobs, education sectors, or IT skills, or you are skills in truck driving. These are the different jobs that are currently available or the different sectors that are currently being recruited for in Prince Edward Island in Canada. So many employers in this province are currently looking for international applicants to fill the skilled and unskilled labor shortage that are currently available in Prince Edward Island. Now, the beauty of this recruitment talent pool is that you can travel with your family once you secure a job from any of this employer. The minimum educational requirement is high school certificate. So which means if you have high school certificate, you are good to go. But of course, if you have a HND, BSc or master's, you can also apply. But the minimum educational requirement from everyone before you can apply is just your high school certificate. And from what I've seen, there is no IELTS required from anyone as long as you are coming from an English speaking country. And during the interview, they will also use the interview process to be able to examine your English uh, in English speaking ability or the, your fluency in English speaking. Okay. And this, this recruitment, this international recruitment talent pool is also an avenue for you to be able to get your PR easily in Canada. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing to you how to apply or submit your CV for this international recruitment talent pool. And the beauty of it is this, it is a do-it-yourself process. You don't have to pay any agent or anybody to help you to be able to apply for any of this job. However, you need to design your CV in a Canadian standard format before applying to any of the positions that is currently available in the Prince Edward Island in Canada. Yes, it is very, very essential. Design your CV in a standard Canadian format so that the employers that are reviewing your CV will see that uh, your CV is of a, a, of a good format and a format that is widely acceptable by all employers and HR in Canada, that is very, very essential. And if you're just coming across our channel, this is Jack Bauer with your days. On this channel, we provide informative and relocation opportunity that will not make you to break the bank or help you to achieve your relocation plan or your Jack Bauer plan to any choice European country. And if Canada is your choice country, like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we provide information and opportunities like this, you will be the first person to get notification. Also follow us on all of our social media platform and it's very, very important to us. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please give this video a thumbs up. That is how the YouTube algorithm says that it is an important information that is being shared on this video. So come with me, let me quickly show to you how you can apply or submit your CV for the International Recruitment Talent Pro that is currently ongoing in the Prince Edward Island in Canada. So this is the official website of the 
uh, Prince Edward Island, where they are currently advertising for the International Recruitment Talent Pool for the 2024 recruitment uh, uh, um, opportunity that is being you know, uh, shared to everyone. Of course, I will provide the link of this video on the video description so that you can submit or you know, engage with it and you know, uh, gather all the necessary information that you need for yourself. Now, I mean, as you can see here, Prince Edward Island is situated on the east coast of Canada and is one of the four Atlantic provinces. The P Prince Edward Island Office of Immigration is responsible for provincial immigration pathway to the province of Prince Edward Island. Our mission is to support immigrants who choose to live and work in Prince Edward Island. We we'll continue to focus on this by working with island employers experiencing labor needs and skill gaps throughout the province while supporting the settlement and retentions of newcomers to the province. Okay. So, and of course, as I said, any jobs that you secure from any employers in the Prince Edward Island is also an opportunity for you to quickly apply for your permanent residence with you and your family to live and reside in the Prince Edward Island. So once you come on this website, the first thing that you need to do is to come on the 2024 International Recruitment Talent Pool Session and you click on sign up. Once you click on sign up, it will lead you to this place. So in here, this is where you will submit your CV and all the essential relevant information that are, you know, that are peculiar to you. Now, as you can see, please register and provide your CV to be considered for, um, to be considered by employers that are hiring in Prince Edward Island. So that's why I said this is a very easy step. It is a do it yourself process. You do not need to contact or pay anyone. Employers will connect with you or will connect with potential applicants to discuss job opportunities in person or virtually. So you have nothing to lose. Just design your CV in a uh, Canadian standard format and use it to submit your CV. You never can tell if this is an opportunity that you will use to you know, move you and your family to Canada, okay? And as I said, you do not need to pay anyone. It is a very easy step. And, you know, if you want to gather one or two more information about the Prince Edward Island, how it is livable, how it is comfortable, you know, the standard of living there, you can also watch this video to, you know, gather more information about them. Now, as I said, they have jobs for different sector. If you if you are skilled in any healthcare related, I mean, if you have skills in any healthcare related jobs, caregiver, registered nurse, doctor, you know, and any other areas, you can fill them. Education sectors, IT sector, you are web developer, programmer, cybersecurity analyst, software engineer. If you have skills in any other area, you can put it here. Hospitality, housekeeper, cook, other hospitality field that you have skills in, you can put it. Once you select it, it will. So now, let me say here, as an example, let me say cybersecurity, I'm interested in any of these jobs. Let's say, I mean, as many job experience that you have, you can select them. There is no restrictions of what number of jobs that you can select. And then you can put your name in here. So in here, it's just asking you to attach your resume that you have already designed in a Canadian standard format. So you go to the session where your CV is, and then you can attach your CV to it. So let's say this is my CV. You can just click on it and then attach your CV to this place. And of course, you have already selected the type of skills or jobs that you would like to be considered or that you would like employers in the Prince Edward Island to consider you for, you've already selected it here. So they have many sectors that you can, you know, choose any skills that uh, you over the years you've got that experience in. So you put your name, you put everything that you need here, you put your CV, then you, you need to agree to the terms and conditions for them to be able to keep your, uh, your, your CV for um, as many recruitment talent pool that they are currently ongoing so that they can, you know, all the time consider your CV for any of those sessions. Then once you're done here, you can click on save and next. Once you do that, it will take you to the final session where they will ask for some essential 
informations relating to your background, your education, your country, nationality, and all the areas or sessions like that. So this is the page it will, it will take you to in here. It is going to ask for your country. You select your country in here, Nigeria as an example, and then it's asking which which what is your current country of residence so let's say yes i'm still living in nigeria you can select you can search and select it here but of course every country can apply so there is no restrictions with respect to uh, the type of country that can apply everyone can apply however before you can apply to this job the age requirement is stating here that uh, are you between the age of 18 to 59 years of age so which means if you are older than 59 years, you cannot apply for this. I mean, that is just my thought. But of course, if you are, you can give it a try. If you are older than 59 years of age, you can give it a try. But in here, I'm going to say, are you between the age of 18 to 59 years? I'm going to say yes. Do you have a valid working holiday visa to travel and work in Canada? I'm going to say no here, but eligible to apply. What this means is that... Uh, if you say no, but eligible to apply, it means that once you secure a, 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 a job or a work contract with any employers in the Prince Edward Island, you can use the document there to apply for work visa to move to Canada and Prince Edward Island. So I'm going to say no, but eligible to apply here. Now, English proficiency, this is very, very important. Are you able to perform work tasks in the English language? Okay. I would say yes, as an expert, especially if you are coming from an English-speaking country, it's better to choose yes as an expert. French proficiency, don't forget, Canada is known to be a uh, uh, home for French speakers and English speakers. So which means if you are skilled in any of this language, you need to select them here. So um, because I'm not, you know, very skilled in French, I'm going to say no here. But if you are skilled in French as well, or you have, or you have basic knowledge of French, you can go for it there. Are you interested in working full time in the Prince Edward Island? Full time job in Prince Edward Island is minimum 30 hours of work per week. So I'm going to say yes here. How many years of full time work experience do you have? that are directly related to the position that you have selected in the previous page. So I'm going to say um, five plus years, yeah? What is your current position? So which job role are you currently working for? I'm going to advise that uh, any position that you put here, let it be part of the position that you selected in that area. So let me say healthcare assistant is my current job role. So. They are now asking, what are your previous positions? So in the past, what previous previous positions or jobs have you done? So let's say if you have worked as a truck driver, maybe for two or three years, or if you have worked as a customer service. So they are just asking for the role. What, so that we know the type of job that they can consider your CV for, or if, you know, for all the numerous jobs that you're qualified for, so that they will be able to consider you for them and ensure that any position you put here is reflecting on your CV as well. So let me just say truck driver and customer service relations. So any position you put here, ensure that it is reflecting on your CV. Now, another thing you need here, have you successfully completed at minimum, at minimum a secondary school certificate or high school certificate? So I'm going to put yes here. Now, it is now going to ask, what is your highest education? So if um, secondary education is your highest education, you put it here. If you have maybe a vocational or technical training, ND whatsoever, if you have bachelor, if you have master, order any certification that you have that you feel is relevant to that uh, job that you are applying for, you can put it here. So I'm just going to say bachelor here is my highest education. What how did you, and finally, how did you hear about Prince Edward recruitment talent pool? So I'm going to say uh, friends and family, but if, you know, uh, or any other way in which you heard about it, you can put it, or you can put social media as well. So let's say social media, what social media? So you can put, I mean, because you will be hearing about it on YouTube, you can put YouTube. So now once you click on save and next, it will immediately submit your CV 
And then that is when the employers in the Prince Edward Island will be able to consider your CV from any of the open positions that they have available. And that's why I said it is a do-it-yourself process. You do not need to consult or you know, pay anyone to help you to do this. That's why I took you through it for you to be able to do it yourself, design your CV and use it to submit your CV to the international recruitment talent pool in the Prince Edward Island. And as I said, you never know where your opportunity lies. And this is a simple procedure that you can just you know, do by yourself and submit your CV. And of course, if God says this is your road, then no one can stop it. This will definitely be your way, our opportunity to move and relocate to the Prince Edward Island in Canada. Of course, this is Chakpa with the days. On this channel, we provide relevant and informative relocation opportunities like this. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we drop informations like this, you will be the first person to get notification. And if you need a one-on-one -on -one consultation sessions to help you with any areas of your um, um, uh, applications, of course, you can use the uh consultations link that is on the video description so that we can use it to help people as i said you this is a do-it-yourself process you really do not need anyone's help with this okay so we come your way next time don't forget to like and give this video a thumbs up it is very give this video a thumbs up it is very very important for us thank you very very much once again till we come your way next time bye bye for now